welcome back friends uh, for the new jazz tutorial video today i am going to show how to digitize uh, the any lake or river you can also digitize the river uh, in the google earth and uh, which can be export uh, in your arc map or arc uh, map so first of all uh, what you want to digitize source that in the google earth here i will digitize today uh, one lake of nepal and here is called nagda lake so for the first uh, to digitize the area or boundary or any uh, lake river uh, you can see here in the google earth uh, different uh, icon here you can go with the polygons uh, for other for the road as well you can use the path also and so here are the different icon in the google earth which can use uh, for the different uh, layout map uh, the different map preparation so first make the folder here go to the my place and make the new folder you can rename the folder so i'll rename it with the nagdaha uh, lake you can use uh, as for your study area so you can click ok here now you'll see the folder there and then right click and here add the polygon after the right click now you can re uh, again rename it as well uh, in the folder uh, there are the different uh, area boundary you can put um, but today i'll only show the one uh, digitization so you can use the different color and the width as well for the lines and uh, uh, now you can only go with the outline in the area uh, remove the field and go with the one in the outline you can click ok now you can begin with the digitization uh, zoom in it with and the boundary layer so serially you can go with the boundary with the polygons you can move your crosser Here you can see in the right side. So you can move the crosser like that. And then you can digitize the boundary. Uh, just click one. And then click uh, both. Uh, if you click both time then it will stop here. So just click one by one. Uh, so here our digitization work has been completed. So double click here. And then now. So you can see properly if the uh, all the area was covered or not. So you can now you can go with the field uh, and the outline. You can change the color here. What you prefer for the lake area. So here I will put this one. Uh, you can go with the fill and outline. So now you can see the lake area with properly. You can change the outline as well. So now you can uh, click OK. Uh, so this is the digitization process uh, which you can go with the uh, Google Earth. You can rename uh, your uh, file within the folder.
to, so to save this uh, file in the google earth and to uh, import in the arc map you should go to the right properties of that file and say place as now you can save this org and you can uh, save it in your folder so google earth file uh, was generally with the kml and kmz uh, file so you can save uh, both you can use either kml file or kmz file you can see that so now you can save it uh, here i'll go with properties again i'll change uh, color here mm. <coughs> so you can uh, now save this image as well if you want to um, uh, put these types of the map uh, with the google earth file so here you can save the map now you can see the here untitled map and google earth sign and the legend here You can edit the legend part uh, which you don't want you can unclick that and which you want you can put uh, that in the legend area so here i'll only put the nag the leg digitization and here in the untitled map as well you can change with the title uh, what you want to show here So I have uh, put here digitization org so you can see the north arrow as well uh, scale so you can you can save the image with above icon and you can name it in your folder So this is the JPG file. Uh, it is the image format with the Google Earth alone. So you can click here save. So Now you can see the uh, saved image here which I have saved earlier so this is the map which I have saved uh, in the Google Earth file now also how to uh, import this uh, Google Earth file in the ArcGIS so go to the Arc toolbox and conversion tool you can see here uh, from KML and go with the KML tool layer Uh, 
uh, now you can input the KML file which I have saved earlier which can be the KML and the KML, uh, KMZ file both So after um, input that, uh, now you will get that Google Earth file, which we have digitized in the Google Earth. Uh, so here you can use it further um, to put your sample size, sampling points, which you can uh, use in the arc map. So thank you for the watching, uh, I, I hope uh, you like this video and I will come up with uh, different other GIS tutorial, uh, stay tuned in the channel.